Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big young Al Tima. Before we go any further, we need you all to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. We're getting right to it, straight to business. This week, <laughs> big trade in the NBA, Harden exited Houston and made his way to Brooklyn, got what he wanted. But that's not the news. We've been, you know, doing some research and hearing a lot of chatter. And it's amazing how most individuals have Brooklyn Nets as the favorites to win the championship. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. We're not here to rent on your parade, but we're here to bring yes, you back are. down to reality. Yeah. So we're going to do a matchup of lineups of the Los Angeles Lakers, the champs, mm -hmm. versus the Brooklyn Nets. And let us know what you think in the comment section. We're getting straight to it. What do you have? Lineups. Let's go. Player for player. Kyrie. Okay. You mean you want to go? Go straight across. Brooklyn Nets lineup. Kyrie Irving. Okay. James Harden. Mm -hmm. Joe Harris. Yep. Kevin Durant. DeAndre Jordan. All right. So who, who in the Lakers starts lineup? Dennis Schroeder. KCP, LeBron, AD, and Gasol. All right, so that's the starting five of both teams, right? Yeah. That's where it all begins. Right there. That's where it all begins. Yeah. Now, let's let's take some time to dissect those matchups because mm -hmm. this is what it all comes down to. They're saying how Brooklyn Nets made some, some changes. Yeah. And now they're right there to take the throne. Mm -hmm. We don't agree with that. Right. Our opinion may not be the popular one. But if you watch the games, you know what's up. So let's start with the point guard position, head to head. Schroeder and Kyrie Irving. Okay. Now, do you have, because on paper, most would say Kyrie is a point guard, but as far as handling the rock, would he be the point guard on that team? We haven't seen no. him play with him. But I'm not, I'm not matching them up. I'm not matching them up, those two together. I'm trying. I, although I know I'm, I don't, I don't have coaches, their coaches' minds. I'm trying to think what would be the best matchups to start the game with, mm -hmm. and I believe that Schroeder on Kyrie is something that Vogel would do to start the game because that's that's what's so unique about the Lakers. Their players can guard multiple positions, you know, and so. That's why I put Schroeder and Kyrie to start off the game. And KCP has experience of guarding Kevin Durant. And I know there's going to be some people in the comments that's going to try to tell me that uh, KCP can't guard Harden. But these are superstars. You can't actually stop them, but can well, you slow them down? Because you said Durant initially, so you meant I, Harden. I meant Harden. Okay, all right. That's what I meant. He can't stop. <laughs> no, but... The, uh, uh, the Harden, we seen it last year in the playoffs. We seen KCP play some great defense and slow Harden down. Frustrated, him. frustrated. It was, it was a team effort, and and, and yeah, you can say that. Well, it's team defense, and they doubled him, but they didn't do that. No. They was playing him straight up. They doubled him at times, but he was he was rattled. And and that's just dealing with KCP. There's other people that can guard him yeah. on the team, but right now we're dealing with the starters. Yes. So KCP on Harden, right? LeBron on Joe Harris. Yes. We're not. That's not even. I mean, LeBron just has to stay and make sure that he's not wide open. You know, he can't get lost. And they, they run him off of some, some stack of screens at times. It's, that's nothing to, to stop. So that, that's not a really big problem for LeBron. Or even run him off the line and make him put the ball on the floor. Exactly. Okay. He can do that a bit, though. Joe you Harris. want him doing that as opposed to. You, 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 should, you want him doing that. Yeah, yeah. And the big matchup, Kevin Durant and Anthony Davis. That's it right there. That's the matchup right there. And because everybody's gonna make this about Kevin Durant and LeBron, but LeBron is 
he thinks everything through. And him He's teaming up with man. AD, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, Kevin Durant is seven feet. And so is AD. AD is the only big man that could move laterally enough to stay with the Anthony, with, with a Kevin Durant. Am I saying that Anthony Davis is going to shut Kevin Durant down? No, there's nobody on this earth that can shut Kevin Durant down. But he can keep him honest. I know one thing, he won't be shooting 62% from the field. You know? And then DeAndre Jordan is, I mean, he's the matchup with him and Gasol. What do Gasol got to really worry about, about the, with him other than keeping him off the boards, using his body, and, <laughs> and rebounding? You know, so as far as the starting five, that, that's the point because people are so in an uproar with their emotions. They keep saying, speaking of the super team aspect, how hard is with KD and Kyrie. Mm -hmm. But take a look at Brooklyn's bench. Yeah, that's gonna be the telltale sign because they don't have even if Kyrie, Durant, and Harden scored thirty points apiece. Right, that's only nine. And the Lakers are the best defensive team in the league. But what they're going to do, and when you stagger. got three stars, they're going to stagger their minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's even perfect So for, for what I was saying. Because now that matchup of Kevin Durant goes out, right? And that's probably going to be the time that Harden is going to look more offensively, at least him or Kyrie. I say Harden because Harden should be the second option and what we were saying earlier, and when we made a mistake, is that Kyrie would be Robin. But no, Harden is Robin. Okay. So who is he, Catwoman? <laughs> <laughs> but know, but he's that the the problem is Kyrie. It, it, the episode is Batman and Robin, but Kyrie want to be Superman. So that's gonna be the problem. And, and, and well, that's what I see as a problem. Until Kyrie showed me something different, that's what it is. But Harden will take over the game at that time, right? And so that means somebody from LA is in the game from the bench. That's Caruso. And he defends him well. Let's go back to the bubble. See, and when you said that, trust me, somebody face frowned. Like what? Go back to the bubble. Go no back doubles. To, it was no doubles. No doubles. Straight up. Go back to the to the bubble. Let's go back to the two games that had, they just played before he started crying and wanted to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Because Caruso never let him breathe. Never let him breathe. So we still we still got someone that can slow Harden down. And I know it sounds crazy, but the proof is already there. It. It's it's been done already. By these people that I'm talking about, it's nothing new. Not one game consistently. Consistently, yeah. they won five games for a reason. Caruso stayed up in Harden, not just shut him down, but I mean, he was ripping him and everything. I mean, great defense, and it, and, and and he frustrates him. So, yeah. But but this is another thing too because we're, we're talking about perimeter a lot. When you really start getting into the rosters and really keying in, mm -hmm. Brooklyn is entirely just too small. You got a cat like Trez coming off the bench. Remember, Jared Allen isn't there anymore. No. They got a guy there named Reggie Perry, who's Who the backup. Is Bruce Brown Jr., they got Shamit, they have. Dinwiddie isn't there anymore. No. And Jeff Green. Jeff Green. All right. Oh. And and that's not taking anything from Jeff Green because I respect Jeff Green. Yeah, he's a veteran. He no knows he, he he plays the game. But the key is is scoring, correct? <laughs> they're gonna need scoring. Well, they're gonna that the scoring most likely is when they stagger the minutes. It's gonna be it's never gonna be a time where either Kyrie, Harden, and Durant is all three of them is out of the game and in a in a playoff game where you where they 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 they're battling. They're battling. I mean, a blowout game during the season, it's fourth quarter, they, they might be all sitting down. But in the midst of a battle against a, a, a top-rated team, one of them is going to always be on the floor. No, 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 no doubt. That, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. It should be that way. But the Lakers just so happen to be with a chance for a reason because they're a balanced team. Mm -hmm. 
the bench has defensive plays as well. Yes. And that's the issue. Whether you're staggering minutes or not, can Kyrie, does he develop his rhythm when Harden sits down? But by that time, maybe you're asking too much of him at that point, right? Don't be, not asking too much because he can put the ball in all any time he wants. But at the same time, it's too much pressure, isn't it? Because he, he's not the type to get other people involved. Well, because and he gives up a bucket. They can score all the points they want, and that's all we've been. You notice that that's all we keep talking about yeah. with them is we're talking about the Lakers playing defensive players. That's all we're talking about. We're not even talking about offense. But every time that you mention in Brooklyn, it's only about their offensive power and that they have. That's why I said even if they all score thirty apiece, that's just ninety. It's ninety points. You, but if you've given up a hundred and ten, it's not helping you. And, I mean, Harden's debut, triple double, thirty-two points. And he played well. Yeah, that was a great game. Well. Not only just that, but then Kevin Durant, forty-two points on a sixty-two percent shooting percentage. That, that's a lot to live up to. He's gonna <laughs> get his buckets, but that percentage. Is- Against a depleted Orlando, and everyone went crazy after it. Yeah. And one by seven. If it took that, and I know it's their first game, but actually it's not their first game. These dudes been playing. They they've been playing together. They they done playing this over the summer. I saw some of the sets that they was running. That's not something they just learned. Harden is a smart player. Yeah, I, I understand offensively, but those sets been in, in place. It was too many of them that they were running that I watched. Where that takes, if, if there can be, they wasn't running stuff like that in OKC. So I know good and well that that ain't this new chemistry. They've been working on that. And so this, oh, after one game and all that, that's deceiving. Them, they, they've they been ready. And they done work things with Kyrie and all that. Wait till you get back. You'll see. It's going to be it, – don't get it twisted. Brooklyn is going to be good. They are. They're going to be good. That's not the discussion because if, if, even if you're saying they're going to the finals, I don't personally believe that this season. Mm-hmm. But that's the chatter. So the fact that we're taking the time to – you know, examine that matchup. We, we even, we're stating that they're good. We're not sleeping on it. Yeah. It's just that I don't believe that they match up well with the champs. We they didn't don't. even get to the rest of the lineups as far as for Lakers. Trez, he's coming in the game. Mm-hmm. Right? After Trez, you got eight. Now, we're talking about staggering minutes. Mm-hmm. LeBron six. <laughs> AD is still out there. And he's the X factor of of everyone because no one there is no matchup for him Kevin Durant cannot guard him uh, and, and we know that he cannot stop Kevin Durant but he can slow him down Kevin Durant is just not coming into the paint like he normally does when you have a defensive player like Anthony Davis so he's not going to say relatively only but m- m- those games he'll be just counting on his three point percent percentage shooting and I, and then he got to still shoot over he's not shooting over those little midget wings compared to him those six eight six nine wings that he normally plays against because most six eleven seven footers can't stay in front of him so they always still keep the wings on him so he just shoots over them but ad is that's what makes him so unique and that's what makes this matchup Un- unbearable for 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 the, for the Brooklyn Bo- Brooklyn Nets because I understand the best offensive player in the league is Kevin Durant. No argument here. To me, the second best offensive player in the league is James Harden. I can roll with that. As far as getting buckets, mm-hmm. okay. The Lakers got the players on the team that can slow both of them down. And make them work on the and ma- other end. Well, they're not going to work on the other end. That's the, pro- that's the point. And you not, I'm not going to say Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant yeah. played defense, but Harden and yeah. Kyrie and then the rest of them boys over there, they're not deep. They, all the defenders are gone in Brooklyn. They're top heavy. Yeah. And, you know, we, we, we just took the time. We, we felt it was necessary to speak on this, but – we're not a believer in this matchup in a sense. The way people were talking like it's going to be some classic duel. But Kyrie is going to kill Schroeder. It's not going to add up. He's not going to kill Schroeder. 
Florida defense is superb. Am I saying he's going to stop him? Stop. No. But it's going to have to work for everything. But well, Schroeder can get a bucket, too. Yes. That's the and so you got to work on the other side. Mm -hmm. See, Schroeder's just not somebody on the floor that there for defense. He, he He's going to make Kyrie work. Mm -hmm. He's going to make Kyrie have to work. There's no place for Kyrie to hide. Harden. Okay, so normally you got a backcourt like Harden and Kyrie, and you can s switch sort of like what Steph and and Clay used to do, but neither one of them play defense. No. No. And they don't really have that backside help that they once had with Jared Allen. Exactly. And Stroder is pressuring the ball all game long. Yeah. So, oh, and the good thing about it is, it wouldn't make a difference to me whoever's bringing the point. I could put, I put, I, I don't watch Schroeder D up Harden. Yeah. And if you go back, Google it. Schroeder versus Kyrie Irving. Earlier days, yeah. there was always there was always a battle. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not it's not that big mix match that you that most people might think it is. So I mean, with just this alone, and I want everybody, you dream teamers, all you out there, go look. At what I'm trying to tell you, look at these teams, look at the matchups, and I know in your mind, if because it's something new, it seems like Brooklyn is that much more different, bigger, and better than every other team in the league, and they're not. It's, I'm, we're just mentioning the Lakers right now. There's other teams that I feel can match up with them as well. It's Milwaukee, Milwaukee sure. Bucks. So we'll talk about that some other time. Yeah. Matter of fact, they play the Bucks tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, we, we'll talk about that right after. Most well, definitely. Yeah. So there you have it. Like, I know it's early in the season, and we, but we just felt it was necessary to speak on that. Just to bring everyone back down to reality, it was just one game. Yeah. Harden is a great scorer, but let's not forget his track record in games that matter. See, some people just go off emotion because mm. I done seen him fold plenty of times. Right. I seen him quit for two games against L.A. prior to going to Brooklyn. <laughs> Well, he had no choice. I don't think he quit that first game. I think they uh, – he quit, but I don't think that was his intentions. That first game, that defensive pressure that I was telling you about, he was feeling it again. Absolutely. He was he was really feeling – and it was different than what, what it was. And it was more intense than it was in the bubble. And after that, he couldn't take no more. So <laughs> he, he got on there and did that press conference. I'm like, I got to do something to get them out of – get me out of here. And, and, and get over to the East so so I can compete with these boys. Okay, all right. So it's, it's important to note, too, that Lakers being the best defensive team in the league, that's for a reason. And unless Harden consistently changes his game and learns how to play off the ball, he's, he's going to be a hindrance. He's going to gonna revert team. back. That's, it, when the pressure is on, he's going to revert right back to what he's always been doing. Crying to the refs, looking for, pounding the ball trying to get buckets i mean kd can create his own shot they're gonna end up getting into the your turn my turn that's what pressure does yeah. and so we'll see all right so we're gonna t do predictions early on in the season it ain't even the halfway mark i'm taking lakers and five what you got lakers and five all right you had that's a gentleman sweet this is team sports entertainment the podcast yes i'm your host earl team alongside my big unk alan team once again, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. And uh, we appreciate all y'all out there, Dream Teamers. We just had to check in with y'all and let y'all know what's going on out there in the NBA world and bring everyone back down to reality. Lakers and Fox. Peace. Y'all be good.